So I'm back today to show you a nice demonstration I do with my kids prior to even doing anything about weathering on chemical weathering. Please check out my other video and the other demo that I do for physical weathering. It came out pretty good. So basically the setup is very easy. Got a couple beakers of water. I got a spatula just kind of help with popping of some of the bubbles. I have some effervescent tablets for cold relief. I have a stopwatch and I also have a mortar and pestle. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the two tablets, one I'm gonna put in whole, one I'm gonna put in crushed. So let me show you a little bit about what I'm gonna do. Let me put the camera down. What I like about this activity, it all has to do with surface area. So let me take the first tablet. I'm gonna take the first one out. I'm gonna put that hole into the first beaker. And then the second one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush it up. It's so gonna take the second tablet. I'm gonna put that into the mortar and pestle. I'm gonna make that into a powder. So I'm gonna just take that, kind of crush it up. Get a decent powder. I do let my students do this because I think it's important for them to really take ownership of the data. Some of it gets a little bit stuck to the bottom. So I just take the end, just kind of scrape it out so it's nice and loose. Okay, should be all right there. So let me put that off to the side. Let's start out with the first one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have the stopwatch here. I'm gonna drop this in. We're gonna get the time going. Ready, set, go. About 10 seconds. So you'll see the tablets all the way at the bottom here. Eventually what'll happen, yep, there it goes. It'll float to the top. So I'm just gonna put my stopwatch down because I just may need to use my spatula to kind of break some of the bubbles. For 32 seconds, it is still dissolving. So you start getting some, some bubbles on there. Get this ready. That looks pretty good about there. So no more dissolving. We're at about 52 seconds. Okay, so 52 seconds for the whole tablet. Let me put this down. Let me at least get the next little set in. Next little bit that we're gonna do, we're gonna put the crushed into the beaker. So we're gonna take the crushed. Let me clear that, 52 seconds. Let me get this one in. So this one I need to use the spatula because some of the pieces, they get a little bit stuck. That's about it. Let me take a look. The water here, yeah, it's a little bit cloudy because it's got some bubbles in there. It only took about 11 seconds to dissolve. So you had 52 seconds over here with the whole tablet and about 11 seconds over here for the crushed tablet. The reason why the difference, the crushed tablet has more surface area. The more surface area it has, the quicker it's going to dissolve. When you have tablets that are whole, only the outside of the tablet gets dissolved the inside of the tablet is not dissolving until it's touching the water. With the crushed tablet, the entire tablet is exposed to the water. It dissolves in a fraction of the amount of time. So I love this activity because it gets into both concepts of chemical weathering because we have a dissolving of a solid into a liquid, but also it gets into a little bit with surface area as well. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this is something that you can incorporate into your class. Students, maybe this could be something you can do for extra credit for your teachers. Until next time, everybody.